let's move on then um to to identify some in in addition um what about distractions and business I, you know i think that that's a huge one um we, we live in a very fast-paced society and the many people struggle to find time to find the mental space to to just find the chill time to to find the patience to do god's work and it's not because they're unreasonable you know there's family um there's even church work do you know that church work gets in the way of people like drawing near to god because they're so busy attending like every committee that sometimes they don't have the time to chill back and reflect on god's goodness to them yeah so so it, it, you're not even in that mental space where like you're appreciative of god's goodness god's protection and god's guidance so yeah those are some other things and you know we all love our families people taking like all the kids to the various activities you just get busy for us to remember that if we don't have time for god we have to be careful and i'm not suggesting god won't have time for us but we have to be careful um, because he did say you know that if you didn't acknowledge me then i might not acknowledge you food for thought but distractions and business is a big one um another one is doubt and skepticism and you know um somebody was talking about like the issue of what's going on within in in with hamas and the israelis yeah like you know like sometimes we have doubts about wow i mean again god allowing this to happen or are are these control over these events um some people have um doubt about god's existence and i hope christians don't but people do um about the relevance of some of the spiritual practices uh, you know um people have doubt and it makes them it makes it difficult for them to you know i've heard people say I, I, I just don't want to have anything to do with church um, because of what some leaders have done and caused others to doubt and to question their faith. Um, so doubt and skepticism uh, are, are real. And, you know, a big one is sin, sin and guilt, you know, feeling guilt and shame over past mistakes or ongoing sin can create a barrier between people and God. Um, making it challenging for them to some doubt to creep in as a result of the sin and then you know people might say man i'm just not living the kind of life where i need to say go to church or like to pray i really like to encourage people that if we could clean up our lives without the help of god then we don't really need god so we need to come to god as we are because after all the doctor came for the sick you know, the, 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 the church is here not for the holy and the righteous, but for the unholy and the unrighteous, so that they might experience holiness and righteousness. This is a hospital, a place for the sick to get whole and go out and go witness to others. Sister, I see you trying to come in. It can apply to like any of a number of situations, you know, like Israel and Palestine would just be one. But, you know, just any kind of situation where we'd have doubt, you know, doubt about um, leadership, doubt about um, faith, doubt about message, doubt about relationship, what, whatever it is. Let's remember that doubt is the enemy of truth as hate is the enemy of love. And, you know, um being a christian is about truth and it's about love and so when we start getting into hate or getting into doubt then it it creates it creates a barrier to our faith so uh, your point well taken um just with regards to that issue but i, I kind of just want us to like just in practical ways you know look at some of these challenges to us drawing nearer to god you know like nothing earth shattering but just everyday happening. Um, the other one is lack of understanding. You know, like some individuals may struggle to understand or to connect with the concept of like a God who loves them in spite of 
You know, there are people who think that they're too far gone in sin for God to forgive them. As Christians, we have to get comfortable with the idea of forgiveness. Forgiving ourselves and forgiving others. Because if there is ever a challenge in the church, it is the issue of forgiveness. I mean, I've just heard people, it's just an important um, concept. And a lot of people like just don't want to get close to God because they can't imagine that God has forgiven them for their terrible acts, whatever it might be. Um, but a lot of people struggle to connect with a God who forgives unconditionally in his goodness, could care about us as individuals, considering how flawed we are. But like, we need to get past that and just recognize that God is a God of impartiality and he extends, the, the, the scripture said that he causes the rain to fall on what? The just and on the unjust. We, we serve a God who can embrace us in spite of our circumstances. Um, and, you know, I kind of alluded to this um, past negative experience, especially if people have bad experience in the church. Yeah, some people like just find it hard to move on um, based on those kinds of experiences. Move to move from to exuding confidence and positivity about God's goodness to us. And here is one that we don't talk about much, but this definitely prevents us from drawing near to God a lot. When we focus too much on material possession and status, you know, and consumerism, um, it distracts us from a deeper relationship. I, I, I was reading the story of this guy who took out insurance on this girl that he was pimping, murdered and dismembered her and then was trying to collect on the insurance. But it wasn't just this guy. It was this guy and his girlfriend. So he and his girlfriend, and they had this young lady living with them. So they were a family. They dismembered, murdered her, dismembered her, threw her body parts all over. It was a woman walking her dog that found some of the parts because they had taken out two life insurance policies on the woman and then was trying to collect. I'm just saying all of that to say the materialism and consumerism like drive some of us to places that we shouldn't be, make us work too hard when we should be resting. Trust me, you're gonna be far away from fellowship. Um, I can't uh, like over, overstate how important it is that we draw near to God and be mindful of these challenges, you know, distractions, lack of understanding, doubt and skepticism, sin. Because the, the, the scripture says that the wages of sin is what? Is death. Sin will lead to death. 